So when God asks us to do something that is tied to our destiny and purpose, a lot of times we make it extremely difficult for ourselves because we start looking towards external sources as to how to execute his plan. We watch YouTube videos, read books. We will even sign up for a course before we do what he's asking us to do. And sometimes, yes, these things can help and even fall in alignment with his plan. But many times we tend to use these things to stall to procrastinate on what he would have us to do because we don't feel that what we have is enough. We want to show up as an expert. We don't want to humiliate ourselves. This could be tied to the need for respect, approval, validation because we may have grown up not feeling like we were seen, heard, or not taken seriously. And we all have this need for approval. We may compare ourselves to the abilities of other people who are already doing something similar to what God has given us to do. God is not going to require something from you you don't have. Now, it may not be obvious at the moment. It could even be in an intangible form such as faith, courage, tenacity, determination before it turns into something tangible. So when he asks you to do something that looks daunting, it's only daunting because you've done blown it up into something insurmountable. You done made a mountain out of a molehill when he is asking, only asking for what's already in your hand, what's in your house. Don't make it complicated. He wants to multiply and make something great out of what you already have in your possession. But our response is, it's just a rod. When God wants to use that just a rod to bring a great number of people out of captivity. I just got a pot of oil. But God wants to use that pot of oil to start an oil business where you and your children can live off the profits for all of your days. How can I have a baby at my age? How can I have a baby when I never knew a man? God just needs what he gave you. An egg and a womb. He provides the seed. He provides the increase. And don't you dare twist that. I know we live in a convoluted society, but please don't make it complicated. You don't need to run to the grocery store to feed 5,000 when you have two fish and five loaves of bread. Loaves the size of dinner rolls. Like... Can you imagine how much it would cost to feed 5000 That takes me back to my early days as a single mom. Like $5 in the bank, honey, we eating for a week. And one time, all we had was a bag of rice in the cupboard. You better use what you got. Bless it, thank God for it, and set that table. Then after doing all you know to do, let God do what only he can do. Don't make it complicated.